The fight continued for at least three hours. During that time, there was no police presence. This has affected the innocent Garo residents and subsistence farmers who turned up at the market to sell their produce were attacked. They lost most of their goods valued at hundreds of kina. But today, me plus up three hours, man Mary run the life long all. Me also senior market controller council, I'm meeting him all people blow me and I meet all contact him all. Uh, NCD police now, Australian police, but people are calm. Business houses like TST and Bismillah were closed since 7 o'clock this morning and students from Gero primary and secondary schools were sent home in fear of their lives. The people are now calling on NCD Governor Powers Spakop to implement tougher penalties on boy sale. They say the informal boy market has been creating a lot of problems for them and this has disrupted the sale of their goods. Lo this la time to me call on governor blo NCD. This la boy ben me looking mo say gero we am no got control of this la boy ben. Gero we am boy ben am no got control so me call on governor lo take strong play action lo rouse him this la informal market blo boy outside lo gero now. Many lives have been lost and properties destroyed since the implementation of the boy ban in NCD. So we are in life, we are not just come, go to the command, we are standing, we are going to turn stuff, we are going to get money back, we are going to get 150. In the meantime, a senior constable at Gero Police Station who refused to speak on camera said the Australian Federal Police is assisting them in conducting awareness in and around Gero residential areas. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.